All right, everyone, today's SHTF tip is to take care of your health and fitness. So the issue I see with some preppers, not all, is that they have all the supplies ready, but they're out of shape. It's great to have all the supplies at home for a hunker down situation, but what if it's an evacuation situation and you have to grab your bug out bag and walk a few miles? You don't want to pass out after the first mile. Another thing you need to consider is that in an emergency, there's a possibility that you may have an injured family member that you might have to carry. Now, if you're already in great shape, then you should be fine. But for the rest of us, we have to try and improve our fitness to make sure we are in decent shape. Now, I'm not saying you have to become a gym bro or a gym girl, count your calories, weigh your food and carry a gallon jug of water everywhere you go. All I'm saying is that if you feel you are out of shape, try to eat healthier and improve your fitness a little bit. So if you're someone who hasn't done any sort of workout in years and is finding it difficult to start, I suggest picking up a really easy workout habit first. For example, go for a walk every day for just five minutes, but do it every day for at least 30 days. Just be consistent with it and slowly it'll become a habit and you can increase your workout duration as you see fit. Another thing you could do if you have a punching bag at home is just to practice a couple minutes a day hitting the bag. If you don't have one, get a canvas bag, fill it with sand and use that. Who knows, you may get into a situation during SHTF where you will have to defend yourself or a family member and knowing how to throw a decent punch will come in handy. You could also do regular push-ups, knee push-ups, wall push-ups, whatever you're comfortable with and do them a few times throughout the day. You could buy a set of resistance bands like these for around $25, then go online and find a 10 minute workout to follow along with. Just start with the basics and do what you can to improve your fitness. I know for some people it's annoying to hear this. I don't like talking about this stuff either. I, do, I don't enjoy working out. I'm not in great shape. I just try to do small workouts here and there just because it's important. Overall, I think it's a good idea to evaluate your own fitness level and decide whether or not you need to improve it. Be honest with yourself. If you had to walk a few miles carrying your bug out bag, or if you had to drag a family member from a burning house, if you had to fight off an attacker to save your kids, would you be able to do it? If the answer is no, then work on improving your fitness. Now, I don't know everybody's situation. If you have some sort of disability or health problem, then I understand you have limitations. This is for people who are able to improve their fitness level even a little bit. Lastly, don't forget to consult your doctor before starting any sort of fitness program. All right, everyone, that's it for today's video. If you have any SHTF tips, leave them down below and uh, thanks for watching.